Welcome back to my garage, guys. It's, that's not how it goes. It's been a while. Uh, oh yeah, guys, I'm Billy Mac, and welcome back to my garage. So over the last little bit, as you guys know, we were in Florida on vacation. We were enjoying things from the Christmas tree race to touring around Florida, just enjoying life without the restrictions that we have here in Canada. But now we are back. It's time to get back onto this car. And as you can see, I finished painting the door. I uh, mounted it. I'm gonna get started on this trunk lid. As you can see, I added a few more holes to lighten it up some, as well as we have the uh, lizard liner kind of rolled on just to give it a little bit of a sound deadening because it is pretty tinny, um, but seems pretty solid. Just rolling on a light coat of the lizard liner. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna clean up all inside the holes. There's still a, a cut out. I'm gonna clean up the, the latch and um, yeah, get everything ready to, uh, to spray the bottom. Okay, so this would be what it would look like if it was black, which it is black, so. I kind of I kind of dig the bottom of it black. Inside the trunk bay is all going to be black, so this might really work. Yeah. Thinking I'll keep it like this. So this is based, and the base that I'm using, that's how it dries. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to clear over top of it. Don't really need UV protection because it's underneath and it's going to be closed off. But whatever. So I'm going to keep it. So let's get to work on the other side of the trunk lid. All right, so now what I'm going to do is... Peel off this emblem, LX emblem, and the Fox Ford emblem. I'm not sure if anybody out there knows where Fox Ford is, but that's where this car came from. Heat gun does uh, does the trick as well. Fishing line. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Use a scraper from my window tinting kit, as I uh, do not tint windows, so I will not use this. More fire. See that? Oh my goodness. All right. So as you can see, this was an LX. Woo! -wee. Not anymore, mother. <laughs> I, I should swear on the YouTube. I, I just want to say that that uh, outburst of violence and me throwing the LX symbol is, is not in my character. And I apologize to anyone watching. Um, I'm going to get back to work now, though. Oh, my nose. <gasps> hey, why don't you get your girlfriend and your daughter to wax one hair out of your nose? Oh, it'd be fun, they said, under quarantine. We have nothing to do, so let's, uh, let's wax your nose. Shites. Yeah, not fun. Not fun at all. You know what the crappiest thing about being under isolation is and being locked in the house for 10 days? Well, let me tell you. We were in Florida. We got suntans, and now we can't go and show it off to people. And it's snowing outside in winter here. If we were outside right now, people would be like... Look at that person there. Look how nice they look. But we can't show anybody. We locked inside. The only people that can see my suntan is you guys. So like and subscribe and tell the whole world that you like my suntan. Okay, sorry. Got to get back to work. All right. Oh, what a mess. What kind of a mess are you making? Well, let me tell you, it's a nasty one. I am making a nasty mess. Whoever put this goo to put an emblem on should be smacked in the face. It's like window molding. You know what? Stuff like this happens when, oh no! There's holes in the trunk for the molding? You mean to tell me now I gotta fill that stuff? Oh no! They got three holes in this damn ass trunk and that bastard put more whatever this black crap is than you could use on 10 vehicles. And now I gotta fill these holes after taking time to clean that crap off. Come on. Look at my hands. I'm gonna let you guys go for a sec. I'm gonna clean my hands off. Okay. So, now what I'm gonna have to do, I guess, is clean these holes out and uh, remove the paint and smack it with a little tack. So I'm gonna go grab the welder, tack in a couple spots before lunch. Take 
yeah. So the reason I said that, said yeah, is because in my mind, that's exactly what Mike Myers said in Wayne's World when he said, excellent. And he was talking to Cassandra. I am fully aware that that is not how you say excellent in Cantonese. Zang! I don't know, whatever. There you go, the holes are gone. The holes are gone. So I'll get this here all sanded up here and get some fill on that and we'll go from there. All right, so now I'm gonna throw on the 120, get this all sanded up here. I'm gonna put you guys on fast motion because the compressor's loud and that'll be annoying as hell. All right, so now I'm gonna mix up some fill. There you have it. So now we'll let that harden and then we'll get to work. Okay, so I got a little bit of 220 on here. And as I said before, this car works fill uh, is not very good at all. It comes up, it's hard to sand. It's not a very good product. You always want to make sure that you feather it out. So there's a little high spot right there and it's just not sanding. It's like gumming up. Nice spot there. All right. Gonna need a little bit more fill. Plug your ears. Mix up some more fill, throw it on. Okay, so while that's drying, we're gonna do the most Canadian thing we could possibly do. Shovel. Wipe this off. There we go. Now. All right. What do you do when you live in Canada and there's fresh snow and you have a rear wheel drive or all wheel drive car? Wait, well, I gotta go make sure that you can slide. Alright, traction control is kicking in. We will shut that off here momentarily. Alright. So basically I'm just taking a break because I have another driveway and another car to dig out. So... We'll come up here and we will check to see just how good the traction is on this beast. Also, I've had a couple people ask what car it was and it is a Kia Stinger and I guess I can do a bit of a uh, 
review on the car. It is my very first Kia. So it does enjoy to slide sideways. Thing is, though, I'm not sure if there's any curbs in here or not. I can't remember. So. so it does like the drift. Yes, sir. And I think it's uh, test is over. We will uh, head back and save our fun for another day. <clears throat> Winter time is coming. It's coming around the bend. I gotta turn that back on. Sorry about the fan sound. But unfortunately, I cannot see with it off. Alright, so basically, this is how we drive in the wintertime in Canada. Up north in Canada. Uh, this is just the beginning of the storm uh, So I wanted to get the cars all dug out first, so there's a good start uh, Later on this evening. I will do the same, but I better get back to work All right, get this here contraption set back up And I'm gonna put you guys on fast motion now because you already watched me block this once Don't need to watch me block it again Okay, so I'm gonna interrupt this high speed video real quick just to let you guys know I am Canadian and to tell that I am Canadian you can see well my head's dirty for starters but you can see that I have Canadian winter hair yes that's a real thing Canadian winter hair is something that happens when you have to go outside you put your toque on and then you get this and it's bad sometimes you go to Legion and you forget that you don't have, well, you're not allowed to wear a hat at the Legion. So you show up to the Legion, you rip off your toque, bam, you get this. So it's hard to pick up good looking women, well, it's hard to pick up good looking women at the Legion anyway. But if there was any women there and you were desperate, it would be even harder than normal because of the hair. No, no, you, you could pick up women real easy at the Legion, especially here in Canada. So if any Canadians that haven't been to the Legion or anybody from other countries that hasn't heard of the Legions here in Canada, you can go. Karaoke night is great. It's easy to pick up people. They might be quite a bit older than you, but it doesn't matter. You know, two or three drinks and you're good to go. All right, so that's a lesson from a Canadian. Back to work. Okay, so we got this all smoothed out now. Seems to be pretty straight. Um, there's a little bit of a high spot here. I'm not gonna worry about it. Reason being is I will not be using a metal trunk forever. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get some primer, mix it up, spray the primer, and uh, I think that'll be it for today because I can't really do anything to the door till my rivets come in. And uh, I don't have much room for anything else. So I'd like to get this primed, blocked out tomorrow, and then painted. But for now, let me go get my primer, mix it up. All right, the primer's on, my mask is still on. We're gonna end this quick. Back at it tomorrow, I seen a dent that I gotta fix on the other side. There. So for now, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Like and subscribe, I'm Billy Mac. Welcome back to my garage, woo!